Now you don't want to cover up all your browns with whites, but what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of the fur highlighted and then you're going to mist back over that with a light brown just to give the fur real good depth. It'll, it'll give you the layers of the fur just like the animal has in real life. Plus you got sunlight reflecting off of some of it. And it, you know, it's not a flat surface, so. Got a little lighter spot right in here. I'm going to have to move my easel down. Only so I can work more comfortably up in this area. Actually, before I do that, see a little highlighting in here I want to do. Now these dagger strokes over in here, uh, it's going to be a tiny bit more out of focus because I want the concentration to be here. So I'm making it, even in the photograph, it's very highly defined all over the place. I want it to be concentrated more here than over in here. I want this to fade. So I'm using a softer dagger stroke. And unfortunately, my white is not flowing very well today. Let me move this for it. This way you'll see my easel set up. The reason why I got it mounted on the wall and not on the tripod or the uh, normal easel stand is because I... When I project an image, I want it perfectly 90 degrees to my projector. I do not want it on an angle because it's hard to match that angle. And if you're going to project an image and you project it at an angle, you may distort your image and your proportions will be off. Where this way, it's flat against the wall, it's perfectly vertical. Plus, when I'm painting, if it's at an angle, you got overspray drifting down. The bottom of your shirt will get a little more dirty, at least in my opinion. And this way, it prevents that. It, it'll fall more straight down. <laughs> 